Good night, good night, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I feel for lean back tonight. We can't take the chair there. Oh. Oh, sorry, guys. Mm. I feel like I'm tired. Give me a minute, there, guys. I'm going to go for something else. It's not too dark. All right. Mm. Guys, mm. 100 and yet. Jeez, I so much want to come. And you can't do it out me at night time, though. One lady called me and said I put her to bed to her head. I want somebody to put me to bed. Well, I got me in the sun, lay down on the bed, and if you notice, my premiere my video early, seven, about 7.35. I don't normally do it, but I say, you know, so I'm not come. Very easy. Somebody texts and then say, You're coming on tonight. Please let me know. I tell one of my friends about your show. I don't know what she tell her about my show, say, but boy. Um, I don't know so much people I put a bed eh? Look for a little me I put people to bed You never hear nothing Most of the guys, the red, the red, um, the red material feels soft and nice Oh my god I would rub it so for you all night Ooh. The red feel nice. All right, I'm read some comments. Yes, brother, my first live Damon. You need see must come to Atlanta. Need to get visa yet to come to Atlanta. I was in Atlanta, and uh, something there. Man, the phone attack. You're looking sleepy. Me no, I'm not really sleepy, but I just feel. I just feel kind of lazy, like tired. Yeah. But remember, I'm telling you guys, when you come on now, we can't take two days of the week. We don't know which two days. It can be um, Wednesday. It can be Thursday, it can be Friday, it can be Saturday, it can be Sunday. You understand? So it's all up to me. Somebody send Damien a visit to get him visa. Get night, Damien. I remember as we talk about visa, I remember when I never have no... I, I remember um, back in the days, I don't no visa yet. Back in the days, oh... Like, having a visa was like, um, you win a million dollars. Hey, everybody did want to have one. Everybody have one. When I tell you, say people are over people, you then get them visa. People bad mind people, you then get them visa. Yeah? One time, man, say, if you want to know if your friend bad mind, get a visa. And don't tell them, say, I go. And you just come and say, you know, me get my visa. It's like them vex. Oh, you never tell me. You're wicked, you're bad mind. You're not good somebody. Hey, if you want to know some friend you want to have, make them tell you all of them secret. And you don't tell them for you. Okay, so you then love chat, then come and then tell them them secret. 
Cine Rity, 5,000. Big up yourself. You have some friends in love chat. Everything they tell them friends. You know, if you tap tell friends, you know, businessman. Everything. Them tell them friends everything. But them friends is not that type of person. Them friends seek it with. But them friends is a listener. And they expect them friends to tell them everything about their life. No. Some people secretive. And what them do? When success I come their way, they keep it um, private. Because when they tell people their success and tell them a success story, there goes the bad mind, there goes the wicked. You understand? And when if somebody not tell them for them success, I tell them for, um, for them lifestyle and story. I want to find out from somebody else. Oh no, vex. I want to start get bad mind. I'm telling you, a bad mind or something can creep up in anybody. Anybody can get bad mind. All the best when you show your love. You have some people have it say, I'm the my only best friend. So you're supposed to tell them anything. And certain things you don't want to tell them because you know them more than in love chat. And you tell somebody else. And somebody else might squeeze and tell them, Oh my God, hell broke loose. Oh, you not tell me. You tell Marva. Eh? You tell Sonia Brian. And you not tell Erica. And Erica never tell Jackie Ebert. And you see bad mind does creep up. You will have a bad mind. When we say bad mind, we know I wish bad, bad mind come in a different category, you know. But the wall will have a little bit tight in a way. See Elizabeth doing that there. Eh? Alright, I'm showing you something. Make you and somebody a flex. Your best friend. See? She buy a house and a car and she tell her. And you go behind her back and buy a car. See? And then now. Say for instance, in the work I said, please. And she see her with a car. And you say, hey, I bought a car now. I buy a 2024 Benz. So you like it? Oh, it look good. So you never know say I buy a car. So you never tell me. <laughs> or you never tell me. Like me supposed to tell you so I go buy a car. Just because you tell me to tell you. No. And that's a life, bro. Sometimes we chat too much. You're not bad mind. You will have a black light in a way. We could have deal. You will have a black light in a way. Well, I will have a little bit in a way. Me see, me remember one time, even my father will love me. Me get up and I go buy one car. And I have a car here and the car park up. And I see him and I say, hey, I buy one car now. You know, eh? So you buy a car and you don't tell me, say, you go buy a car. It's like me supposed to sit down with him and tell him that I go buy a car. I mean, if I just go buy a car. Back in the days. But uh, we all grow that now. So, big up everyone, good night. The boss himself, great one. Why great one? He make a woman accost me. The woman accost me to reality. The woman say, me play part of advice note, I'm going to play part and show I just lead it. The lady vexed with me to write it. Hold on, let me see if I find her message. Yeah, sure, it's number one, Thomas. I am a woman looking at a man. Jesus God. Ladies, only give up now. There is no real man out there. I be a riffraff and what left out there, please. Uh, you ever cook rice yet? I mean, I look in a, when I show to all I rice, we left in a rice butter, we left in a pot bottom. Put it in a chat. We left in a rice, we left in a, a, a pot bottom. Rose gold, big up yourself, you are going, brother. Bon bon. Thank you. I be a bon bon left in a pop bottom now, man. You are like good man, then God. Somehow we, we live in a denial, like in a weird way, I say, Oh, I know a good man out there, and so. 
it, they man can go and chat. But more when you get the good man there, you come back and tell me. Not just in a one go and tell me not two, three, four years. Say you find a good man. I be a bun bun left man. I'm divorced. I would love to tell you my story, but not for your program. Number one, if you not go tell me the story, let me explain to you. I don't want nobody to call me and expect to so have my phone and listen to the problem on the live story for one hour, 30 minutes, where that's not benefiting me. I'm not a guidance counselor. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not a philologist. I'm not a da 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 I'm not a da 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 this. I'm not a j j j j j j j I'm not a EPO patches. All type of something you can put. Where they come on the hey, people have some some category or some counseling words out there. I don't even know. I can't talk some of them because I bite my tongue. Anyway. I am divorced. I would love to tell you my story, but not for the program. I grew up in the same room with my three brothers. All of we grew up the way there. All of we grew up the way there. Eh? You ever remember when I grew up and somebody I used the bathroom? All you knock on the door, you have to wait till then done for everyone going there. Alright. With my living in one room with three brothers. I built two houses and buy one neck, not counting the one me and my ex-husband bought in New York. A big shot this. I am 50, independent, hardworking, and need a godly, kind, loving, honest, hardworking. Ooh! Let me read this again. The lady has said she and her husband bought one house together in New York and whatever, whatever. She says she divorced. That's the first thing now. When you notice... Most females will come over here then divorce or them boyfriend or baby father left them. More of a woman then wake up and realize say, life is just a way where um, the man then grow with you in our young days and then when you reach like 50 and up, body change, everybody change. Some of them they run gone. They have different, different to man and something. Gone. Gone. Some of them young girls are firing, then just a leech from some big man. Take care of them and forgive them, then stay on them something there. So sometimes when you have no husband, you have to live a double life. You have no, and you have a woman out of the door. But the real woman, them, and say, find out, say, them and I mess around, they're not going to stay with them. So when you let go that man now, as I may say, I repeat it every night. When we reach up in a big woman's stage and um, it's, it's set away. Yeah? Because when you get a man now, uh, 55, 58, you don't know how much problem in your ex-girlfriend. You don't know why man in next. If you ask a man, why are your girlfriend break up? Oh, I don't want to get into that. Why are your girlfriend break up? Oh, I would advise people, when you know dear people, ask them why. What was the reason why your relationship didn't last with your last partner? But then again, they're not going to tell you no lie, so you're not going to really know. I'm not going to take up somebody at 50 or the old where they're done out of pop bottom. The world done pan them, no woman no want them again, and then say, all right, then. No, let me try over mix up, but she won't see if I can get one of the nice working ladies there. Yeah. Time catch up on them, so you know, they must be sickle for somebody where they don't really want, but then just a play, like say, yeah, them care and them something. What well, if a people are used their head and then Gina said, we. So, as I say, I pay a pop bottom. Pay a pop bottom, brother. And it's sad in itself. I never forget this lady from Florida. Nice lady. Set her up with a man from Florida. Then even I said this chick, then go meet them have lunch. She called me and said, Damien, hey this man is for me. He's the man of my dream. I love him. He's so articulate. He's so romantic. When I come out, when he carry me out, he pull the car and everything. And I see myself going places with him. I said, okay, good, good lady. Wow, nice. I feel good. The way a man happy man sent me $200 and said, Damien, hey buy a drink. 
Mr. Rati, nobody never buy me a drink so dear yet. I buy Guinness, I buy Red Stripe, I buy NSC. You know, reach $200, but the man up here in Senegal give me. Anyway, you man, no man goes to bomb stand up on one cruise ship. I I don't know if she and him ever sleep together as in like, live in place for one, two, three days. Always meet, meet up, have dinner and talk on phone and something. I rotted. The woman said, when she and the man in a cruise and the man enjoyed themselves. She said night time was like hell. Mr. said, what do you mean night time was like hell? The woman said, the man snore out rotted in a ship. The man chatting in his sleep. The man I call her some woman name in his sleep. Eh? When she asked him about them people, he remember I call him, he said, I know what she had talked about. The woman said, I want a piece of snoring and something, something. And she said, When he take off him things, I mean, just throw them down. Him chaka chaka, him not clean. And I say, Ratted. And I said, Woman, I tell me everything. And she said, Damien, he lie about his age. He's not 58, he's 64. And when I asked him about the agents, agent, say, you write it, send me write it down wrong for me. I think when he called over that time, he did say him about 58, 60. Then the woman said when she noticed him always, I go place his Spanish ship without she. So every minute like them up here, check out, oh, where are at? Where are at? And them something down to ask, you know, to find. Then now I work as couple. Then go up on the ship as a couple, but then start. You know, it, it, it now nah work out. It's like one day east, one day west sometime, and then they meet up for lunch, and then them. It was so, she had tell me his situation, it was so. The lady said, hey man, as I reach America, as I reach America, I'm going to have some clothes for him at my place that, um, I think, I remember she did have some stuff for him. I remember I was supposed to close her, so I don't know. But she said she got to mail them to him. So I said, why? But you did so happy about this man. She said, hey, man, I don't know, I can't bother. But me and my husband left, it's like, I can't find a man where even, if I could have find a man where similar like my husband or have some of the qualities or even quarter, me will try fix up the rest. She said, hey man, that man I want a cleanest man. He man clean, him clean. She said, man, I'll press him one close. She said, fancy any man married. That man press him close right through. He not depend on no man for do nothing. You understand? And she said, when she meet this a 60 year old man, now in chaka chaka, in fling down this, in fling. In. She said, no, sir. It just, when she talked to him about it, he must say, no man, I punish you pretty man already. Then he clean up it and say, no, I know so you got me like cleansing this and you know. But I don't know, it's a whole lot of story. I don't know. So when I try some most of them man are broken at them way, brother. You understand? Most of them broken at them. So uh, better saw one riffraff. No bet any money. I never done read out the lady something to write it. I'm going to finish reading out the lady something. So she said, okay, I'm divorced. I would love to tell you my story, but she not tell me upon it here. I answer that. Me each of the party, she said, three brothers. I built two houses and buy one, not counting the one me and my ex-husband bought in New York. I am 50 independent, hardworking, and I need a godly, kind, loving, Honest, hardworking, um, Christian type, down to earth, no to cheat a lady. I'm from four miles out of that place in Jamaica. I'm sure you would love to listen to my story and testimony. I am a proud mama boss, but I am private. I am a woman looking a man. Hello. 
I will this again. But may I ask you, who is this? I you ask me I know the voice. Who is this? May I talk to? I'm been doing Canada a long, long time. I don't know nobody about you. see me? I look nobody for your shoe. You see me? Hmm. How are you they call me about again? No, man. Remember me they call you. I think you call up to bless you for your thing. You see me? I said, I'm going to call you for your shoe. You get me? I said. Hmm. So what are you asking tonight? Huh? What are you asking tonight? Yeah, man, I said, maybe this is the first lady I've talked to tonight. You know, but one thing I learned about your show, man, is if I am married, and you know, I've got my relationship, it's not a hard cup of tea. So what are you asking? Once you know, I've got in a relationship, it's not a hard cup of tea? No, man, you know, it's not a hard cup of tea. So what are you asking? Say, all of these marriages fail. In America, in Jamaica, they don't have God in it. So go in church, well, I'm going to church with somebody I'm married. That, that put God in a relationship? No, I'm going to have to come into service, you know? It took me to work as a partner, you get me answer? Yeah, but that is how it starts off. You work as a partner. All right, one of you understand about life. You're yeah. married 2021. The first year, Rosie and Dozy. 2022, Rosie and Little Rosie. 2023, you start to see changes in, a, some, in a, one of the partner behavior, whether man or woman. Yeah. Something causes it. That is just nature. That is just life. Yeah. You know, I have nothing to do with put God in it. People in a church got you divorced, said we then say enough you divorce. People separate we go to church too. Why real true Christian? People married for 10, 12 yeah, years yeah, and the yeah, husband, the husband in our church and go there with Sister Debbie. And then now yeah, wife you go here. Yeah, Sister yeah, Debbie would yeah, yeah. get pregnant. I sort of bang around. I just life and nature, brother. So yeah, yeah. more the one blame most of the failed marriage then. Huh? They say the the car like a recover still, I get the answer? Yeah, I hope so, but we don't want to have it for say no. Most of these failed marriages are they don't have God in it. Because yeah, yeah, if a yeah, pastor yeah. cheat, and he preach to the congregation, if a and deacon yeah. cheat, and he a, a fix his speaker box and something, if a bishop a do it, what, what is else? What else did they? For real, for real. I think about it. For real, for real. Mm. Yeah, so we can just get up and say, oh, you don't have him God and he not go work and pray, no. The woman he put God in it, and the man does betray her. The man he put God in it, and the woman, I know so most I feel with our marriage, them 99.9% of the man, they mash up it. I man, yeah. them a problem. Yeah, she told them. No, we don't want to call him that, because we are man too, so we don't label him. But 99.9% of the man, them always uh, mess it up. With the whole yeah, relationship, yeah. then. I not talk to young one, then, where some woman married and them get giddy like chicken. But if yeah, you study, yeah. I always demand them a mess around and something. Because I don't say go. But big up yourself, man, and thanks for call, yeah? Alright, great, though, great, though, great. Though. Yeah. This lady, I want one godly man, independent, hardworking. <laughs> I sort of something she beat down to rat. Look, Pandan, come over here. Dan says she want this man here. He must be intelligent. Five foot this. He must be have this. He must be well educated. He must be this. And all now, Dan did a single. All now, Dan find a man. Punish her. But I don't know if she try to tick or something and find one man. Dan may call the name in a good way. Big up herself. All now, Dan find that the man there. All now. Don't write one epistle with about 45 attributes she wanted a man. And I know she can't find one with even 10 or 5. And Don did a said way. Don how much? Must be 59, 60. Early is too long. Who didn't see Don one? Who didn't see Don one? 
And this is some I think we feel relationship and we make enough people single. Don, me not talk you, me just a talk in general. Ladies, reach to a point where, yes, you know yourself value, but you tell yourself, say, you want a man. Why do you want a lady? I got to tell me, say, she need a nice man. And he must be this, and he must be well educated. Must have a, a, a degree and one bag of something. Church or in. One bag of something, me just kiss my teeth and say, This is a woman that come like she not understand, sir, man. Where she a come tell me about me if you go find one man with all of them something there. So me figure call man and ask them if they're a college graduate and if they have this and all that. <laughs> Listen, I want to know if you do them look do them look research there. Eh? He might feel well educated, he might feel this. Me can't find nobody like that. Yeah, you know So it's sticky. We can't tell you no guys, the phone here, see it here? This phone. You want a woman call me at the time and text me say they want a relationship. And them in the late 50s, some in the 60s. You know, some are 50. And me tell them the truth, me say, ma'am. Me now go can't find a man for you, you know. Come here about 300, 400 women up on one waiting list from 2023. Y'all ah, know them can't get none. So you can't just come and just come steal one from them. It's not going to work. So them are way too long. Some of them are depending. You know, much of them call me and say, Boy, why lady they call me from? I wish I called me from Connecticut. She said, Damn, any guy will do the video. You can't give me a number. I'm how much. I said, no, I'm in the She said, no, sir, I'm too young. They mean I can't find one good man for me. But I can't build life with that. I said, ma'am, which part I'm going to find that? You just call me, I have about a thousand of the man I have over my page. Most of them come watch me at night time, because they just want to see one little man call in and say, I'm him, having him visa, I live in America, and in lonely, and then something. <laughs> then they are, look there. 600 somebody there, 500 of them I look for somebody. You think then they have to come look for me, then they have to say if I look for a pass through. If you say if they can't get one. You all done? So that's how you go. Sticky man. And this is a serious problem. I don't know how to address it and how to fix it. People in a church, them are come to me. <coughs> People in a church are look to me to find them man. So there's a man shortage. Where's the guys then? Where are they? Where are they? Tell them they say we live in a one time now. These fairy tale relationship and stories and where we want would I want to live. You wanna live it. But the next person that depend on that. Look over there, we have a segment we're doing. Eh? Great one. Yes, Papa. What go on? The reason why most of the women them can't find no good man because it's just like a house. You know, you buy a house, you buy it, and you have certain color that you don't like. You have to put on the color for the house that you like to make yourself happy. Mm -hmm. You ever do what it's like? Sometimes you see some old houses or some place and everybody want to buy it. Mm. And somebody come and buy the house, fix it up and paint it up and do all kind of work to it. And everybody come, oh my God, the house look nice. And everybody want the house at that point in time. Same thing with relationship. Nobody have it. His, nobody wants to take the time to do the work. You know, sometimes you have some good man. They might have a little flaws. They might, you know, not, you know, not dress well, don't, don't do whatever. Sometimes you have to just take them and clean them up. Same thing with a woman. man. Oh, so everybody wants somebody, somebody ready make people are looking for ready make product. Ready-make. Exactly. That's something you have to you have to work with people. You know, they everybody you know come in different packages. Everybody are different. No, I'm not going to lower my standard for a man. I know my self value. I know what I work. I will. I work. I will yeah. not lower my standard. Uh, sometimes you have to put work into it, brother. Because uh, you know every relationship, you, you, if you don't put that work in it, it's not going to work. You know, you can't want everything. I, what, what I heard that woman talking about tonight, that's not realistic. You know, how is she going to find a man with all them qualities? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's rubbish. You know, when I hear people talk stuff like that, man, I don't like, you know, they, they, 
I'm not really worth anything. Oh, my where God. Man, where, you tell me where the name of God now you're going to find a man like with all those qualities that she wants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's madness. Oh, my God. Right, man, I tell her. Yeah. yeah. You know, you have a lot of women love to see a man that married and out there with the kids. Women are attracted to when they see a man out there in the park with the kids and all of that. You know, whatever, married and have, you know, a nice family. Someone attracted to that because I said, boy, you know, that's the kind of man I want. And, you know, someone ever go and take away all the money, they try to take away all the money from that woman. And mm. they never want to do that work. You know, maybe that woman, you know, the amount of work that I want to have to do with she, between she and her husband. Listen to the people who have not married for 40, 50 years. If they tell you what they have been through, you know, you would have said, no way, you would have gone through the alcohol and stuff. <laughs> I know them people, after so many years, some of them people live sweet and happy. Mm-hmm. You know, most man tell me, they married to them wife and never liked the wife until about 20, 30 years after. They really fall in love with them wife. So that's just a life going. Nobody not taking the time to do all those things. So that's why you see the relationship them up, I feel so much. But Errol, there's a ratio of a pattern like most of these ladies who call me. Their relationship, their marriage and relationship fail at the age of 50, 55 and upwards. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Like, the, the man, they marry them for 20 years and 25, and then when they see, when man, they reach 55, I got 60, it's a failed marriage. And it just, boo. And at because 65. Things get, boring. things get boring. They're not going on a They're not going on trips. They're not doing anything together. You know, things just get boring. There's no more spice. It's like, you know, probably, I don't know if they try everything else and run out of ideas or, or what, but the motherfucker just get creative, you know, and some people just grow, grow out of, out of each other, you know, it's like, which is sad. You know, sometimes, you know, it's like maybe new technology, uh, they watch too much um, social media and people are talking and say, girl, if, if my man can't do this, or vice versa, you know, it's like, you know, so there's uh, many different reasons why them things that, you know, people be, because it's really hard for people to marry for so many years. And I mean, at that so many years, you're supposed to live like brother or sister, and that's the time you get divorced. At 40, 50, 60, when you get divorced, what the hell are you going to do? No, sir, it's a problem now. At 55, yeah. 60 now, ladies come now and them look one nice, loving man, similar like when their husband used to cheat them. Some husband are deceased as a uh, passed away, but then now, right. at the age of you now, oh, you are going to find somebody where compatible with you, where understand you, where uh, you understand, where you yeah, might go come with a lot of baggage, you might go come with uh, some of them, I come with Wally Papitney. Pitney. Let me tell you this, I can't talk in general, enough big man who are 50 at 60, some of the time if they now come there with you, them now, if they now have five, six Pitney, come like uh, our miracle. Like some big man, they have all three, four, six baby mother. Them have pitney this up, they have five, six pitney. You understand? First thing I got to you, man, is Jesus, God, that's so much pitney, man. Then if me and him for there and in dead and gone, I, oh, I, I, I got no war, them are war me for you, look for something, them. Or so if me and him for got married. It's, it's a, a whole heap of little thing, brother. Yeah, well, I mean, but you see, at some point in time, I mean, you have to make a will in your life, you know. So if you're if you my grown man, and even if you're 10 pitney, and whatever you have, you have, you have to make a wheel for everybody. That way mm. you're dead, you know, there ain't no problem. Because once you have a living will, once you have a living will, then you can't be no war, uh, you know, after you're dead. Mm. You know, so relationship, man, I mean, nowadays it's like, there's so many things, boy, it's like... Me feel if you woman them still on the arrow. Because you what? Yes, me feel if you woman them, you know why? Because mm-hmm. a man, let me tell you what I find out. A man when he's in his 50s, 60s, living in America, he look like he's easy to get a woman. Because a woman, big woman out there always want a man. The woman then who are 50 to 60 ago up, is like, the age, the age man where they want, is like, is either they married or they gone or they can't find them. Them they're in a church, them they did it. Them man they gone or something. Right. So it, it kind of... Sometimes they are willing to settle for, you know, you're not going to get a perfect package, you know, so you have to settle sometimes. But then can't package. see, man, Errol, one lady say, yeah. a two jobs she do and when she come in, she does drop asleep and snore and head up back well, She not getting a time. If you go never if you see no... You have to cut off one of the jobs, brother. You have to cut off one of the jobs. But our bills are paid, Errol, our bills are paid. So weird. So you're saying that you, you, you have a man that him not work, so that man is not working or something like that? No, man, me as a single woman. 
Sometimes them not see, yeah, them not see no man. Yeah, yeah. Cause them have to get up, go work, take three and come back, go for our next job. Yes, By the time yes, they come over, at asleep. Where them are gonna find the man here? Tell me. Yeah, that's that, that are true. But you know, see, them have to make some sacrifice though, because if you find a good man and a man come in with you and and, and now two two heads better than one, you know, it's like two, you know, now you're gonna have two people working or whatever. So yeah, you don't have to, you, know, you as a woman don't have to work that. But there are. That, me, me have cool cases of women there in New York and me link them up with man and man live in Boston. The man who live in Boston said now nah, come to New York and she said so she now left her job and go to Boston. So you know what I got. You get what I'm saying? So, well, that's what I'm saying now. There have to be some kind of sacrifice, you know. At least but at 58, 60 years old, well, a woman has to sacrifice for him. Bill Wright has said in New York for God, Massachusetts. No, no, no. When I say, when I say sacrifice, it's just to, to meet each other and see if we work and then at that point they have to make a decision one have to move ah. one have to you know you know if they really like each other and it's gonna work then one have to move why you know, a lot of people do that a lot of people do that you know if me if me ever if me meet a woman in a Pakistan and they go visit her and, I, and keep visiting her and i found out that there's something can work yeah i don't have no problem move her connecticut to Boston. serious yeah, if, if, if I see where it, it's gonna work, mm -hmm. and it's always vice versa, it's the same thing with the woman. You know, if the woman realizes that the way you have the chemistry and it's gonna work, oh no, at some point, I'm gonna have to make a decision. You know, what somebody have to move mm -hmm. if you really want the relationship. Mm -hmm. okay, if you start visit each other and learn about each other and the good and the bad and whatever, and you, you both you make a decision. Then somebody have to move because but, but, if you can't find nobody in your ear where you live, then what you gonna do? You know, I want me believe with enough of these older ladies who are feeling like them forget a, a, a guy. They have to work, girl. As I said, some of them are the two job. Some of them just work, come in, then go church on Sunday, then a Monday night church. Where else then can go to find one nice little Jamaican man or one little syndicate man where single? Which part? As a man in high street, which part then can go name some place? Cause you know he, he runs. Well, guess what? Mm. Even if you have to take a day, even if you have to take a day of one day, if you go, you know, just say you're gonna visit town, walk around, and do whatever. I have to take a Sunday off a church, but you better, you have to make some effort to find some 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 time. Cause if you're not, if you don't do that, then you're really not gonna find nobody. A one solution, so, Missy Errol. Mm -hmm. This is the best solution, Missy, for most of the single ladies there. May I feel, Dedicated to the ladies, them because I have more single ladies than single man. You know, look a man, they will come on at us one and two, but I have majority. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. one thing is the solution, and and it's so bad that these guys mess up the thing and they mess up the woman they mentally. That's why they can't think if you can do something like that. Them off you fly down, come to Jamaica, find one little man, or their friends set them up on one little man and bring him up. Woman them decide to then not take the chance to again, Errol, because they don't see it and know it. So mm -hmm. they say now everything get. Because if one of them women are fine, if them fish up, then yeah, they know. If them come off a plane and say, I am I'm coming from America, I need a good man. All the man work at the airport are putting in him application. Everybody. Mm -hmm. So you see, right, they say now she have a whole heap of options. Right. Yeah, but the thing is now. She got gamble with that now. Oh my God! It, it no must work. Yeah, the man, the man in Jamaica come in for 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 a different reason. That type problem. They really come to with nobody. They really they just work for ah. America. They just work for America. So, as I say, there's many in America here, brother. You know, I don't care what they say. There's many here in America. You have. To Boy, but the man, them a different culture. Woman said the man, them a different culture, and it now go work. Different culture, you know, work out. Some are Yankees, well, some are this, some are some, are, are, some are some different yeah. Caribbean islands. Then say, you know, work out. Yeah, it's a lot of challenge. It's a lot of challenge, yeah. you know, with the different culture. But what I'm saying, you still have a lot of Jamaican man in America the same way, you know. So, I mean, it's like some point in time, boy, I don't know. I, I don't know what people relate. I don't know how people are going to settle this relationship thing. Because as I said, people go in here for different reasons. Various, you know, different reasons. They're not... It, it, you know, they're not being themselves, they're not real, you know, it's like somebody just deal with somebody because the person look good and that's all they want, you know, they're not really want no relationship with these people, man. Can you imagine a woman come down from foreign and, uh, 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 
and got and got married all the little one who call in every night for millennium number. Mm-hmm. Eh? Yeah, because people make it bad for, you know, some people make it bad for others because I'm telling you that it's true. It's going to be hard for me to come and to make a married woman because the first thing that the back of my mind when she comes, she got. <laughs> and you know, it might not be true. You might have a woman. But we tell him, how you going to know? How you going to know? You can't know. And at our yeah. and Earl at phone age, I'm mean, going 68, you know, are big people, you know, on the age. All right, you know, are big people at phone age, see? We're not going to get time for heal. When you do all of them, there's something that's worse if you're not going to fall for your person. There's no healing. Eh? There's no healing. There's no healing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, there's sir. There's no healing, man. Ah, I'm going to tell her. As we say, relationship takes work. It's, it's a lot of work in it. It's just like a house, you buy a house, you like the house, and you're not gonna get all the comfort in the house that you you want. So some things you have to come in the house and cheat up some things and, and work with something. All right, me and people complain about thing. all that too. One man I say, he meet a woman and she come and she does a change up in house, in things and you say they so and as something the different place and him not like that. You know, his wife did done set the place already and this woman come and a change up. I mean, I tell him, say, no, man. Remember, say your wife dead and gone, you know, so if a woman come there and she want a relationship, she'll go change up the place to fit for her um, right. needs. So you have to just adjust it. He said, no, right. son, me can't bother. Me I look for all one fuck. Me I feel a pull up, co- um, mm-hmm. cupboard and I look. Me can't bother you, yeah, man. You know? There you go again. <laughs> there you go again. Compromise, compromise. So because relationship expert spoke about that they said that when a per- you see a person who's single for a long time mm. and you get somebody in your life you have to know how to deal with each other because it's going to take some work because you used to your things certain way and then you want to come now and you want to try to put things Her in a like different way Her you will not agree with it and so at some point i have to say you know what i just love this woman to do her thing and you know <laughs> as long as she you know she means good or whatever you so people set their ways and it's, it's not easy to change when you're sitting there you win. I know it's easy for you to change. You have to compromise and work with something. So if you can't do that, then it's just not going to work. Mm. You know, you have to, you have to um, change. Some, somehow changes have to be made. Why? It's a serious uh, situation. It's a, a serious thing, man. Yeah, because when we say a lot of women, and most of them are overseas, and you know, they are sick, they may not know. It, uh, you see, when they live in Jamaica, I know so they have a man and reach a foreign and like, I don't know if the man uh, look their way or they not see the man for the man see them. I don't know. But a whole heap of them, a whole heap of women, Errol, right. reach out to me. Another thing again, too. Another thing tell- again, too. Yeah, another thing again, too. See, a woman is here, then and she establish herself. She has a little money put away, she has to whatever. And the first thing in her mind, now, how am I going to make her now pick up a man come and the man broke or whatever? The man will come and contact with me money or whatever. But you can also make this is because if you're going to marry, you can you can do prenup. You're going to say, all right, I have this, and you come, both of us going to work, you know, open an account together and whatever. So nobody come come feed up for what he had already established. And some of the man then come and like a bread food head. Him thinks he will come and sit down now and make the woman go work. And he will stay home and cook. No, he said, would I just stay home? Cook for her when she come, wash her foot, lotion her, and then something there. That's not work America, Errol. Yeah, this is work America, man. You have to come and go and start work hard. <laughs> you have to sit down and, oh, we have to wash our foot and, oh, so I said, I'm going to look for the thing. I'll make our tea uh, know, so and then something there. Yes, sir. So some of those things, you know, people just... You know, it's, it's a lot of work, man. It's a, you know, and people don't willing to compromise and do all those things. So, mm. you know, it's just, it takes a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. Relationship is like a nine to five. You know, Errol, the lady, the lady reach out to me and I could say, me play one part of advice message, I mean, I play this. But she said, the 65-year-old lady, say, if a man's sick. So she said, me should I play out the whole life? Me unfair. We know why here no more because Francis thought all she had about a sickness with the man. That's all she had about. <laughs> what else? What, what else? <laughs> Francis thought. She started talking about sickness. The man, how the man was sick, and if the man takes sick, this is going to happen. And that, why are you dwelling on the sickness so much? Mm. 
You don't show the man that wave the, the, the thing and cut the grass. The man's strong. Mm-hmm. Now you have about the man have a cigar with her. And she can sit before the man. She can die before the man. So I don't know why she, you know, people are doing for the kind of stuff. You don't know the man's health. You don't know the man's history of nothing. The man fit a jump around a cutler or something. And all you have worried about a sickness. That's true. That's all. Yeah, you yeah, said that you get to know the man you have about sickness. So we're going to nonsense that. True, man. Yeah, work with the man, you know. Work with the man and see what the man is about, and the man gonna see what you is about, and when you can get together, you say if him sick, him son of a, you know, somebody after him should not babysit. What kind of baby? You're three, you're sixty-five. The man is sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanna say I want to be different between two sixty-five. You don't tell the man, hold on, I know you're sixty-five. Hey. I'm a friend, I know, big up my friend. We know she'll go watch you, but she'll laugh. I know she's says a lady where I love her. She always sends me some little text and my spirit. But me, me I say me love her so much and respect to her. You know, me have some people here. And when she send me the message, cause me I look out for her, because she did say she wants Chester number. And when she right, see, when she see, eh. We just talk to her again. I don't know if she ever have anybody sick for that. Because so, you know, I, I feel so, so funny texting, but I heard it before, man. So, okay. <laughs> <guys. laughs> Alright, I'm going to ask you what you say. Yeah, ask her. Find out if somebody has a sick man, man. Because okay. me, I'm trying to find out why she, that's the first thing she jumped on, the sickness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so something, she has some, she has some, something traumatized her, man, when it comes to the sickness thing. And some, some sickness traumatized her mm-hmm. from somebody, you know, probably she was in a relationship with her. She liked somebody and he just takes sick and then she just, you know, have a phobia when it comes to sickness, you know. So, some, something's mm-hmm. wrong, man. Okay. <laughs> well, if you want, I'm going to in a relationship. You know, but you want to know that one that the Chang 65 year old man there, yeah, and him yeah, having yeah, visa, yeah. can't travel to Canada. You're right. Should I take it? Guy man can just travel and the man can just travel spend one two months, come back out here and, and go and see what it's like. I mean, no one can get look. Errol, the man can walk. That that the man that sixty. Oh, Errol, that the man that riding bicycle, man fit. When me say fit, and the man can run. When me a woman a pass. Yeah. Yeah. And when me and she said that about the man, me said, then how she no know nothing and she. A, she has sums up everything. You know what I mean? That's why I miss says she must have somebody take sick pen already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody sick pen. You find that out. Please call her off. I know because we are telling her. Because you meet people. Sometimes you meet people and they're really sick inside and you don't even know. Okay. Very sick inside and you don't even know. So anyway you look at it, it's a gamble. Everything in life is a gamble. Young people are dead. All people are dead, it doesn't matter. Yeah, people, exactly. Yeah, you know what I mean? That is, that is not... All people are dead. All people are dead anymore. Exactly. Young people are dead anymore. You don't realize how happy young people are dead now. You see young people are dead anymore. I'm a friend. I'm a big up yourself, my friend. Mr. Van, big up yourself. Nobody vex with me and Errol. We just uh, talk some facts. And we just uh, talk. Because how oh, you approach the man, I never like it. Uh, I, I mean, he's a man. I mean, he's a principal man where... I don't like certain things. It's when I look up to you for your high standard. Even you, Errol, if you, you pass remarks about somebody where I don't like. I say, Errol, you know, I say, I don't really like your pass remarks because she's not like that. So I, I, I don't like that. That's what I'm saying. Even though I know you, know, yeah, you never pass her remarks. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, somebody jump to certain conclusions and not even thinking, you know, and, and, and say some things that I went after you finish say, you said, damn, I shouldn't say that or I should, you know. Right. Because, yeah, 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 I mean, come on, man. Yeah, man. I went just say at 65, where my come to Canada, can't do, and if he takes sick, everybody want a chance. Everybody. Mm-hmm. You know how much man me know they are? What they, one other little guy where he used to cut me out. He man at 82, and his son just mm-hmm. a file for him. And he man a fit. I want problem him having a little cataract for his eye, and that's why his son bring him up, he might go do surgery or something. And he man at 82, and just a guy firing. And he want to say, man, happy. Him man happy, happy, happy if he passed three days, 
Imani will come out. Can say no one come out and not go do him. Can one go for him? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's how you go. You know, matter when. Suppose uh, some of my people uh, see uh, me in person and see how me operate and how me jump around and do certain things. I wonder what I said. I said, I want me to get sick too. <laughs> Errol, you remember all time days when somebody are 50, or then you used to mm. consider as old man and then grumpy. No, 50 come like right. 30, 20. Woman yeah, who are 65, yeah. you look pan all in picture, then look. We are young. Because they take care of themselves. And I like your time days. Remember in Jamaica when a woman is 60, you know, I be a grey year and one look do one something tire on his head. And he have one basket on his head. Or one look a bucket of carry water. And he have one church frack. And them look something that one look slippers. Or them have a market or something. No, woman, them. You know? Yeah. Make them look old. No, when they see women, them all overseas and so the woman them glamorous and look nice. Have on them here and do themselves good and have on them little jeans and you know put themselves together. So things and time change. You know, right now yeah, sixty come like us, sixty come like forties. Right, I even some of us now used to wear them big shirt, big pants and all that kind of stuff. It make you look certain kind of way. Plus now you are wearing like a slim clothes and all that. You look like a young yeah. boy. Yeah, I mean, you know, we wear lens pants like what your father used to wear. Yeah. You remember lens? Yeah. Lens pants. You remember them pants? No, no, them that days are done. Really. Yeah. Nobody now. Really. At them time, they never had that. You look like an old man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Gabardine. Gabardine and then something there. You know? I said, James. Errol, I'm going to take one next call. I know. Can I see somebody else's call? Yeah? Uh, all right. Yeah, big up. Mm. Machine, and uh, when I tell you, man, sit so I see up back. I mean, I lie, man. I, I first me had ever cut so good. The man cut the grass go way down to the it's something down. The man trim up all the, the, the outer front. I show you one picture in front of me, other sweet. The man trim up something them in a sound design. Yeah, man, the man, I go up on farmer too much time and something. The man, I fit. You understand? Let me see how I would send me. Oh, Rati, the lady I call me call her. UK, she live. <clears throat> Only if she gone jump back asleep. Bless up, guys. Frank Shaw, everybody. Elizabeth Dona. Good afternoon, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. You're on the show, here. Yeah? Who put on the show? Well, on there. You call me. I'm in a 941 in a Jamaica. I do on my live on YouTube. So I think I call you call for the live. Because I'm in Jamaica. Oh, you're calling? <laughs> you're, oh, you're in Jamaica. Yeah, I'm in Jamaica. So I'm here. But I send a text, man. Oh, you send a So I'm um, team, little man, I'm here. You meet him yet? <laughs> Hi, Damien. Please, we're going to talk that time. Not on this air. We don't no, man. We're, 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 we're not calling call the name, man. But me, no. We just want to know. No, no meet up yet. Right now. Oh, oh, so how long you reach? Me soon come check you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, but may I say, how much days are there now? Just yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Because you know, somebody vexed with the door. What do you Because when you tell me, give you a little man, and you tell him, man, say, I come to Jamaica, but you don't come see him because you come with your friends, them. It's girls' chip, and we plan it long time. 
Yeah, 14, 14, 14 first game, yeah. 14, I don't know, from the UK there? Yeah. <laughs> How are they right at this? What? <laughs> After the excitement, because really, we are good. That is number one. Mm. We are good. But I really come for some... One to one with girls, girls out, girls out. So after the weekend, I will go and see him. <laughs> okay, me think I did not come with the girls. A man just hang out and left a man hanging there with him something in there and uh, uh, and you know, come at Jamaica come on. You get a look at key and bump and something and satisfy yourself. All right. No, no, listen. I'm on the phone. Can you give me five minutes? Thank you. Five minutes. I want to. I want a friend that will yeah. travel with you. Okay, okay. All right, you are going. Then you are going to link um, such man. You give me a link. No, we are not going to link you, man. Oh, you are not going to link me. All right, do that then, no? Just call me and make me. Just give me a little heads up. I don't mind I sat there or Sunday when you link me, yeah? No, what we are doing. No, what me and the girl are come for the, over the weekend. So. Over the weekend. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Mr. Sir, it was one. Yeah. All right, me go start. Pick, me I start picking mango them. Ah, 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 them. Put on, come. Me now when you no come, somebody ready tree. All right, we're coming, but not this week. But come, come to do something. So how much week you stay? Two week. Four week. Me not go back home till me. Oh, you know. Oh, you're there long man. All right. Yeah man, more and him link up. Cause me and him, me, me direct him and him forward. Cause a good beauty. Cause me and him did for link, but me never get a chance. So I right time. I guess him a watch me. Alright. Big up yourself. We're not asking nothing more up on the live. Alright? Look how more. Alright, go on. Alright, go on to your friend then. Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My day I said thank you, man, they are UK. You man saying they are Jamaica with him friend them. Fourteen of them. Oh, sharing our grandkids and this. Okay. All right. Well, my boss. Yes, you finally can get some England tuntun. Happy for you. A long time you yeah, wait. I'll let me can call him. I don't know. I love trouble. He's not going to answer. Let's see if he has service. I'll tell him for another one. No answer. Ma call me a It's no answer. Man, I want to. Man, hey, you tap call me and text me. Hey, me no call me the while I rope no. Cause you just say come on, girls out. Okay, cause you keep it a secret though, a good thing. Oh, you yeah, Lanara, make sure she reach. Okay, okay. She said, Yanara, come check me. I'm going to eat some mango. Oh, you want to mix up, boss? Okay, okay. So, where are you now? You're there in your bed? You're there in your bed? Okay, okay. All right, Mama, just, me just call her and she'll give me full hundred. So, we could see what I go on. Huh? Why, you're not a record. Yeah, man, why? Yeah, she tell me, say, I'll oh, watch me. Yeah, she tell me, say. Oh, on the panel line, I watch the show. Okay, all right. You know, so as I talk, all right, go through my friend. May I talk? Big up. May I have one next man for highlight? Yeah, yeah. You know, say one man send more one video. I feel bad not play it. Oh my god. Oh, let me see. And if God do not make me delete the video. Oh, see it. Alright. I know say a birthday gone I found last week. Thursday, but Mr. Scott from Cayman, happy belated birthday. Zin, I wish you all the best. You are one of them with the company show me link you up with a nice lady from America and you are go and said we so wish you the best. You understand and everything work out. 
So. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy the music there in the background, I don't want to copyright. All right, Mr. Scott, big up yourself. Happy belated birthday. Gee, from last week, Thursday, when you send me this, I me forgot. All right, big up yourself and all the best. What to the lady? What's going to hear from her? Guys, somebody put one super chat on the screen. I did one sleep, I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to one night show. I'm going to put something on the screen. Please and thanks. Put a super chat on the screen. All right? Put a super chat on the screen. Jesus God. Oh my God. I say I go on. Errol. Silicon Banta, the lady I say tell Errol say tell Errol to to sick and come. I have a big bed for him. See to Errol. A woman say she have a big bed for you. Say if you take sick or something, she there, she be a night nurse. Alright, see her bed there. Mm -mm. All right, Miss Paulette. Okay, ma'am. All right. Good night, Damien. Can you can up line me up on a Christian lady? What kind of writing this? Good night, Damien. Can you up line me up on a Christian lady overseas? My name is Roman Williams. That's my picture. Ladies, so I'm on your, somebody I look. In Facebook, so. Say I look one woman overseas. So I don't know. <laughs> Gillette Bruce. Ah, Gillette Bruce, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Yeah, man. That me like sick. You know, when we come on, when I want to look at something, but it no matter how much. Just make it, yeah, it help. Towards the program, you understand? Because sometimes, uh, sometimes when you come on and them something, they never worth it. Sometimes when you try, we just do it for no. Because we know a lot of people look up, especially some elderly people. They look up to the program. They man stop hiding Errol from the ladies. <clears throat> Errol, never come over here and say, "I look nobody." And Errol just participate in the show. Suppose Errol is really nice, man, eh? The power no one take with error and I think it's easy. Bagwan. Hello. 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 Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, what's going on? Yeah, man. You're there, man? Yeah. Oh, you're there. You're there. Oh, yeah, what's your program? You're there, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man, I hear. Yeah, I hear it all. Yeah. 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 Where you was? Where you was? Eh? Can you do any program? Are you on something talk? 
这一家人打，对。你要讲啥啦？我操！那蛮打，给他帮你说一点，然后他就帮你 explain himself 打。Your name is what? Say it again. Talk loud, no man. Yeah, talk loud. Make your ladies in here. Ready? Ready? You're looking for a partner. Yeah. So, when is I looking for a partner? How old are you? 28. 28? Yeah. You have picnic? No, no. So you're 28 years old and now produce no picnic. How are you going? How are you going to this? One call me last night saying I'm not picnic. And you are a woman. I know you are 28. How are you going to go on? You can't, you can't live at all. You can't, let me tell you this. You don't live at Kingston, St. Andrew, or Spanish Town. Now Portmore. I tell me where you live. Man. Which way you live? No, Which part? I know I must up in some hills and valley where you don't see Miss Pam Data walk to the shop and say, Watch Miss Pam Data get big on her. Watch her. Miss Pam Data. Watch her. That's how you go. Yeah, yeah. You see how two little women, girl picking around the north, and the little and them get big on her. Look and say, Watch Miss Pam Data. Watch her. I'm on out of the road. She'll take on her. Watch her. Look for when I grow her. Yeah? Why? I tell her. Things set away, boy. Twenty-eight. Yo, yeah, man, you're the live, man. You see you're famous now. You can't watch back this tomorrow on your phone or TV, you know. You want to listen yourself. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you want a nice. Thank you for the super chat, guys. I'm so call out in the name. Thank you. So you want on what size you want to look? What size? Slim as half, yeah, slim as half, fluffy. You want a woman to wear two x, three x, or extra large? Anyone get to take? Anyone get to take? Anyone put on nothing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, when last was it? When was the last relationship? So two years ago. So two years, from two years ago, you get no pum pum. Mm -hmm. Huh? No. Why, Annie Palmer is supposed to, a young Miguel is supposed to rub out and shine. What kind of work you do? Construction. <laughs> we know where you are put, we know where you are construction fan. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> 28. So you can you can dress up like how you dress up now. Like how you have on clocks and something. You can go in high town. Like, you know, go in high town and go look to woman and something. Yeah, I said, I want to Jamaican them too, no. Jamaican them too, huh? Too enough. Too enough? Yeah. Say, I want a Jamaican woman. Oh, you don't want a fire no man. <laughs> yeah. So if you get a fire no man, what you do? You have a visa? No. So you don't reach a fire? No. Huh? I look about it. Oh, when you get a fire no man, you go look for your visa. Yeah. So why you not look about the visa first and have it and then no, you say? Mix up boss, I have a visa, I look on fire no man. So you, don't want to get it. you must get it. <laughs> so hold on there, let me get something straight. You have the option for you to try to get a visa, you say you must get it. Then you say if you get a foreign man, you try to get a visa. So when you get the foreign man, you go get the visa. You get it easier. You get it easier? Oh, so you want she to come and file for you then? You want that to the moon. Oh, she come and file for you and bring you up and you just stay home and watch. Football and TV and cook for her. Wash her foot when she come. Eh? Yeah, I know that too. Yeah. While she go go work, you just stay home and take care of her place till she come down. Yeah, man. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god, jeez. Boy, if I know man them, boy, it's sticky boy, they don't want nobody who are 28 and all. They want 28. And them how man if they come to Jamaica, they want a man who drive, can carry them pint here. You drive? No, I'm not going to have a license. Oh, you're not, you have a license, but you're not going to drive? No, no. Okay, why? Ah, uh, well, let me tell you, you see, there are a lot of single guys call the show. Some are only for single guys call the show, and you know, some have care, some have van, and some have this, and they're in a position where they still not getting a woman. So, why in a child, one nice Jamaican girl, going to church, serve God, meet Sister Pam, you know, start life. She can go embassy and get visa to one and you can get to and then life just change on her, bro. You know, if you be a foreigner, man, you know. You get to me, I say? Yeah. I mean, I want you to give up on your Jamaican woman, then, brother. Girl, woman out here, I, I, I just wish my head up in a Westmoreland bush where you see some local riffraff and some local, you know, I see some real woman. Yeah. You man there, holy person, single woman there, man, would I want a working man. Are you live by yourself? No, sir. Oh, you live with your, you live with your family? Yeah. Okay, okay. You yeah, are 28, man. You have to move on. Let me tell you this. You see my father? My father lives in a country. And my father come at home at 18 years old, he tell me. At 18, and he start learning a trade. He start learning butchering, and he taking time, taking time. Until he turned Gallis. Until he had a whole heap of pitney and had me too. He night. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I don't say if you have a whole heap of pitney, but sometimes you have to change. Um, you could live in Westmoreland and down there, so you don't see nothing. Because you have less resources with um, work, technology, and things up there. So you go to Bams now, you try to find a local place in a town area. When I say town, I don't talk bad part of town. You know? Sometimes you can't move and say, I, 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 I take a change or challenges or something different. And you never can tell you meet people different places. Look how Jamaica big. You can't bet you never, you never left come to St. Catching it, come spend all one, two days or somewhere else. Sent on. Which place too bad? Oh, that's down there so bad than SU, you know? I'm afraid of Westmoreland right now. You might be dear, I watch Papa, somebody dead up there. Yeah, tell, I'm going to leave a send catching. Yeah, I say, when last year, something going on a send catching. Tell me. Because, uh, when last. But you know, have a, a, a thing. Once one place did bad 10 years ago, you know, have its the baddest place in the world. But I mean, no, but, no, no, but you know, no, no, you said them places are too bad. So that means you rather live up. Oh, they're so bad, brother. I'm afraid. Of, you think we're come to West Malan can live? Every day, who now get robbed in a bar, woman at this, people at this, man pan by, back on them, something there. Me, me not in a come nowhere down there, so I'm rather than down in a so and, 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 and work and go and live. Me not come nowhere there, so. Yeah. So when I say they play, them places are too bad, I don't matter how bad. Yeah. Yeah, don't go over in Westmoreland, you know, take you over from down and put it, I must put it Spanish town, because I'm catching me live. Let me say Spanish town. Spanish town is a quiet place. Not now going to Spanish town now. When last year you saw a Spanish town on the news. You know I hear that. But every day you turn on Popeyes. Oh, down at West Milan. Oh, down at Hanover. So I say you go, brother. But you have to, you're a young youth. Try to move up, man. Be mobile. Go different, different place. Seek out, you know, and do a little thing, man. You can't just itch up one place. Sometimes you, know, you look the different place, but you know, just itch up one place and say, I do some thing. You understand? I yeah, you can't just, you know, you country there and just stuck. You know? Yeah, man. Thanks for calling, man. Okay, okay. All right, let's see. All right, I know. Big up yourself, my dear, all right? All right, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Yeah. 
Hello? Hello, Mr. Big Support. How are you? Yeah. Me depp on the show. You call for the show? Yes. All right. Go on. So I'm calling in regards to that young lady who called, uh, no, you know, the first, the Tory, about um, her husband, the guy that she married to. Mm -hmm. Can I comment on that or no? You can comment briefly. I never really that you are talking about, but um, you can comment, Lico. Yeah. Okay. So my advice to her is not to, you know, not to reconcile the marriage because he's too abusive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She said marriage gone to on, on rock bottom, so she don't think it can't save her nothing. Right, I don't think she should. But watch her now. Like a... Yeah, she's a very intelligent lady, but look on it the way I know, my friend. You know, say, that man, this would have been the said case like the one of my post yesterday with the guy. You know, say, that man can't bother road for all one year, two year, and call her back and say, he want back in wife. And she maybe mm -hmm. look into it and say, oh, me have a daughter for him, so he mother said me for work out. You know what she say? When me and her talk, she said she spent enough time up on her mother. Up on her mother's yard. So you know, her mother now got encourage her to feel it for her son. But if the mother not any good, she would advise her to leave. Well, and, and, and well, and my friend, son. which mother I got advise then daughter in law to leave then son? I could talk now. Which mother? Some, no. Which Mix up. Some good mothers would. Would I tell them, ma tell them daughter in law to leave then son? To make them son look bad? I'm but no, when how can you stay with somebody who verbally abuses you? Yeah, but I'm saying we are talking regardless to the mother-in-law. You think she would have tell the daughter say left my son because he's a bad person? Yes, she could. If she is a good woman, she would. No, no, me, no, no. Me not, me not see no mother-in-law tell them then daughter-in-law for left well, them son. I, 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 I you get one. Mother, want you get one and come tell me. Carry one come upon the show and make me hear she says so she tell her daughter and her Philip or something. Mix up. I hope a few of them will call in and tell you that they would have. Mm. All right. I don't want to hear that. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fear, mother. The mother, well on. My mother couldn't understand the story. I don't want to understand. I don't want to misinterpret it where we are talking about. Listen now. Loving and caring, if you have your daughter and a man a mistreat your daughter, you, you would have tell your daughter, say, if you left the man there. Zin, can remember say your daughter I get the abuse. Right? Your daughter get the abuse. So you would have, me would have tell my daughter say left the man there. But at the other way around, see? The wife has spent time with the son, mother. Meaning her daughter has spent time with her, with her grandparents. And the wife and the mother, the boy and mother have a good relationship. You think the boy and mother are going to tell the wife say if he left her son? That is what we are talking about. So I don't want to mix it up and say, yeah, if I'm my daughter or my son, would I tell him to left the person? Yes, we would. But it's vice versa. So I'm saying, anyone who have a son or a daughter and they're married and they're going to a split and the daughter come a your yard with the grand, grandkid, you would have encourage the wife to left your son? And that's your son? I confuse her. <laughs> okay. If I confuse her, I'm going to watch the story. It's up on my page. Go listen to it. Hello? Hello? Go on, huh? Yeah, go on. Yeah, me go, me go defend that woman. Because what she has said right, feel it now, man. Well, I'm coming to Tyrone, because he's here. 
You did marry to your girl? No, I never did marry to her, but... No, no, no I can't hold the discussion there with you. If you never marry to her, married me at all, but marriage and girlfriend and boyfriend are two different things. So you yeah, can't comment on something where you never married, man. What you know, what you know, what you know, but feel like enough, enough mother that tell them to that still. No, feel, I don't work with feel. My mother called me when we, we do that. Yeah, right. and you have to marry. In, 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 in my terms, you like to see a woman come out there with that, with that, with that, with that tell a woman that. No, and no. First, if they know, say, they're they ver verbally abusive to the woman and, and not. No, that, right? no woman, no mother, no sell out their son where they and them, demand them close. Okay, Make can't tell her that. Is that thing when you're a woman cold enough? No, no, woman, no. No, no, woman, no, do that. So, what are you? So, you are telling me, say, I'm a mother. Yeah, but what may I say, what I'm saying to you, I say if you never married or in the position, I can't hold well the discussion there. That's why I say more right, relate right, to somebody right, who married and whatever them something there. Because you just assume right, and then something there. Like I'm going to put my input in still because obviously I, I just support my sister. No, no. I'm not free. No. All right, no, you can't put your input in at this. You have to just listen out the one now. Cool. All right, man. You're a man. You're man. Bless. Yeah. All right, somebody will call me. Maybe I somebody this will experience. I want to hear it from the somebody. No, mother-in-law not encourage them, daughter-in-law to lift them, son. Of course. Of course. I, I would. Have you ever do it? Hello. Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes to what? I, I, when she complained, yes, she complained to me about what the son doing and have that woman. I said, I'm a woman and I was sitting with wife sitting in. Not because of my son. If you're wrong, you're wrong. All right. You're I don't put up with nonsense. You listen to no. the story? Yes, I do. Where the story be, son? It wasn't about an ex woman. It was about, she said, the man verbally abused her enough time and called her names and yes, something. Yes, but what I'm saying, it does it abuse. Yeah, but what I'm saying, if, you, that if that was wrong. your, well, on, if that was your son, Zin, and that your, that's his son's wife with your grandchild who come visit you all the while and she had talked about him. You would have encouraged her to leave your son. That's what I'm asking. Just simply yes. yes or no? Yes. You would have encouraged her. I would not encourage her. her to speak in the abuse. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I wouldn't. All right. Yes, I wouldn't. Um, I would tell her. Yeah. To leave your son, divorce him and call it a day. Don't try to work yes. out their marriage. Yes. All right. Cool. Because he's doing something wrong. And you don't want to hear from your son's side. You just go off as she. No, no. I would hear from both. Uh, you see, we're going in a different discussion, you know. That is it. But that is what I want to say to you, 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 you now. Yeah. When you hear the next side of the story you now. Well, I know, ma'am. Uh? You can't hear one side of the story and say, yeah, that's how it go. When you hear from the next side now, suppose the man come and can defend that and say, X, Y, Z, no. Your son, where you going to say no? Eh? But, but that I is my line of argument, Mr. Bass, what could a woman do that a man abuse? Eh? They can talk over wife and husband. Once it's, it's yeah, it's wife and husband, but there. But remember, we are here one side of the story. You understand? <laughs> so we can't there yeah. and we can't say where. The man, I know the man get a chance to explain. You understand? So that may I say. So suppose your son come to you and say, Mommy, make sure you go here, man. Because X, Y, Z, every minute she do this. Mommy and that and where, where, where. So what? Uh, what do you do? That, no, me does, that me I would tell my son, walk out of it, don't abuse, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe you don't make them reconcile or you don't talk to them or encourage them. But like, if you just get up and say, left me son, left him alone, move on and find one different man. Just so. Be a son what she said. No, ma, I don't know how mother in law would do that. that. That sound weird. And then her grand pick me. Listen, listen, Mr. Boss. Every mother in law can know, know their kid. Because I know. Son of that. Maybe she'll tell the woman that and the woman good and her. Yeah, but maybe the man. No, no, no. 
Liar tell, lie. Don't tell me say every mother in law know them pick me. No, no go so. No. Every mother don't know their kids? No. You know your child when your child young, when your child turn adult, it's a different somebody that. You didn't know say a man will beat them woman. And them mother don't know. Say them a woman beat her. Did you know that? Oh, you mean so well on there? Well on there. You think mother are going to know say then son a, a, a man are going to beat woman in front of them mother and make them mother know say them a woman beat her? No fine man then will beat them wife and something of them mother. I in a relationship. Them mother don't even know say them is that type of man. So you can't say every mother wow. know them picnic. You know much mother have yeah. them daughter, them daughter bad or road or do some things and then things say them daughter is all this queen and something. No say that. Don't some say that. Some of them in denial. Some of them some love to that... things on the rug. Give me a break. Yeah. All right. Good night. Good <clears throat> night. Nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. You know how much people have them pitney. And them pitney, they are rather bust said and I do all type of something. And then them, when police come for them, oh, my son not do that. My son not grow so Eh? You want to say, your son not do when you're not around. And what you know, see. So now say everybody know them picnic nine ninety percent of them people are when police bust them picnic, then come on a ball and this and his son then guilty. Me not say none that some not dead innocent, but sometimes they guilty. Alright? So on the state about you know your son and know. Not for them hide and beat a man when them in a closed door. And if a woman figure out it, tell it, your mother say you know your son, she said, My son? Oh Damien, no? You know do that? No, no, I lie I tell. No, tell no lie for me pitney. Wait, wait, wait. Okay? You know him when he's a child, but when he turn big man or adult, you don't know how he become or how he the behind closed door. Do. Oh. I can't tell you no. I see it and I see it happen. All right. Um... It's struggle. Listen to this topic. Okay, I'm gonna play people um um video pan here so easy. Come in and know what's the video about, so I'm gonna really want to play it. Alright, let me see this one. I wish one now. I'm gonna know which one that. Well I'm gonna say if nobody else did a call. I'm gonna try to get somebody else pan here. Hold on there, guys. Okay, okay. Then I don't know. Who this? Hey, 87 minutes. I'm not going to get no sleep tonight. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to get off. If me have a daughter and, and a man a beat my daughter and my daughter tell me, me would I tell her I left him? Yeah, because we depend on the defense, so we have to tell her I left him. But there is no way a mother will encourage a, a woman to left his son. Worse than marriage. And some, it's some of them all time people they believe in a repair marriage. Look on the story we post yesterday with the man. In live a woman yard and a woman still married to the man. See? Still married to the man, and every time the man come, the man left for one year, two years, put her in a depression, and she gone back to him. See? I will make sense of her parents, and they said, they're not business with her personal life. They don't have a say in it. Yeah. So they can reach, watch the story and understand the, the logics. And everybody gets in a people relationship. Sometimes they just see it and left it and say, hey, love them. Maybe after a while, wait, wait, wait. So I saw you go. But I understand no point when I say, but I don't see it. I don't see it happen, but nine times out of ten, I don't see it. I go up, so. I mm, sorry, I can't see it. I can't see it, so. Worse if they love them pitney. And you are going to come with a story where no match them, them pitney agenda. The man said, no, so I don't mm -mm. Mark no stay, so. I don't know if that, no. Just get some time and maybe in stress and I'm going to choose something. I'm going to work for my marriage. Because I'm going to look. You know, I'm going to have a little 
Tani a deal with Dan Rete. Most of them parents don't believe in a failed marriage. You understand? And I like me where quick, quick or something that I want to divorce or I'm gone. You understand? Some people believe in us sticking it out, work it out, and that's it. You see me? So that's how you go. Uh, as a mother, you have uh, rubbish your chat there, man. Well, um, Kerry K. Martin, if I rubbish me a chat, that's your opinion. I know what I talk about and I know what I say. Alright? So make it stay there. So, and everything I go talk, people are going to agree. Respect for your opinion. Say, you need to read a bit. Don't be so hard headed. Jay, I'm not being hard headed. I'm just stating my opinion. You state your opinion. That is it. You understand? Ginger say fax super chat time. Alright? So that's how you go. Anyway, guys, that are that for you there tonight. Um, let me play National Pledge and that's it. Mr. Over this too long. Come for stay for 61 minutes and look where we reach over 87. Um, Damien chat, well on. I know I'm gonna get to play the story there. Well, on the guys, um, all right, national pledge. God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart, the wisdom and courage of my mind, the strength and vigor of my body. In the service of my fellow citizens, I promise to stand up for justice brotherhood and peace, to work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly, so that Jamaica may, under God, increase in beauty, beauty, fellowship and prosperity, and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. All right, guys, that's it. I want to thank everybody who come on the show. All who call, all who comment, all who state their opinion, big up on yourself, respect on you. Remember to tune in again. I promise to come on tomorrow. I promise to come on Friday. Whenever I choose to come on, I will come on. My super chat reached a threshold of 102. Let me see this now. Juliet, thank you, 49. Jeez. Uh, well, everybody who sent me, me Juliet, me just see your one. There's a lot of people who send super chat. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Appreciate you. God child. Alright. If you in a chat and you see nobody who want to put on a number, no. I make them reach out to you. No. Alright? Thank you. Uh, June, we all know you. No, go sleep. June, I go call her man uh, Gambia. We don't know about June. Um, like the live guys before no come on. Please and thanks. Please, please, please and thanks. Please like it. Alright? So, on a done know. Um, comment after. Watch it back tomorrow. Big up on yourself. My gone.